All right, the goal of this video is to give an overview, um, a holistic overview of the whole process of protein synthesis after we've kind of dived into it. So protein synthesis, we could also call it gene expression. Right? It starts with DNA. All right, since it's protein synthesis, we want to take that DNA message and make, at the end of the day, a protein. We want to synthesize a protein. All right? But in order to do that, we first have to do this first process all right, called transcription. And the whole point of doing that is to make an mRNA molecule that can leave our nucleus. So let's just set the stage of where we are right here. Um, let this circle right here is going to be the nucleus of the cell. So that's the organelle that's holding on or that's containing DNA. And then outside is the cytoplasm. And the cytoplasm is literally just all this space right here. So we could kind of highlight it's the fluid of, cell, of the cell. That's it. And then in the cytoplasm, you have a bunch of other, other organelles like mitochondria and things like that. But you also have these small organelles called ribosomes. All right. So there's our stage. Now we're going to first start off with transcription. This happens in the nucleus. All right. The DNA is going to open up and an enzyme is going to start to add uh, RNA nucleotides. So I'm going to label my DNA right here. All right. Notice I'm kind of making DNA blue. I'm going to make RNA red. And so the RNA nucleotides are going to start attaching here. So an A with a T, a U with an A, a G with a C. Remember U because it's RNA. Right. And then I could just continue to fill out this DNA template. All right. Um, and then what ends up happening is this RNA molecule ends up just leaving the DNA once it's been made. So I'm just going to rewrite it here. AUG, AUC, UCG, UAA. And that's my mRNA molecule. And the DNA is eventually just going to zip right back up. All right, so now once we have our RNA, mRNA molecule, the DNA could stay in the nucleus, but our mRNA is going to travel out of the nucleus. There's like these little holes or pores in the nucleus. And they're going to go out into the cytoplasm, the fluid of the cell, and they're going to specifically go to a ribosome. All right. So in this process, we, we need to take this mRNA code and we need to translate it into a protein. So this process is called translation. All right. uh, notice that I have a little bit of extra mRNA right here. So we could almost imagine that we could just kind of get rid of that. All right. Just because I wanted to look at, make it look really similar to what we drew up here. All right. So we're going to start with a, a codon. All right. And remember, a codon is just like these... Um, sequence of three nucleotides and an mRNA strand. So let's actually label this as our codon. And then this is a codon. And our mRNA. And once it's at the ribosome, you have these tRNA molecules. So we can label these as tRNA. Right. That are made of RNA, so they have the U, A, Cs, and Gs. Um, but they also have amino acids attached to them. So in this case, we already have a tRNA. That Notice that it, the U with the A, A with the U, and C with the G, it's perfectly matched up, and it's brought a, methi a methionine amino acid with it. Again, you guys don't need to know the, the names of the amino acids. All right, so let's look at the next one, AUC. So if this is AUC, I'm going to be looking for an anticodon that is UAG. And so I'm going to look around here, UAG, this one right here. So this tRNA molecule... It's going to move over and attach the anticodon. So by the way, these are the anticodons. Attach the tRNA. It's going to attach with the codon of the mRNA. So I'm just going to kind of redraw my tRNA molecule right here. And attached to that tRNA molecule is this amino acid ILE. I actually forget the what that abbreviation stands for. All right, so ILE goes right here. Now, once these amino acids are fairly close to one another, they form a bond. So we've just formed a protein. All right, now, it's gonna, we're going to continue to add to this chain. So I'm going to look at UCG. All right, UCG would be, the anticodon for that would be AGC. So let's see, AGC. So that's serine right here. 
Let's see, R. S E R. And so that moved in right here. Let me just draw an arrow just to kind of show that the tRNA molecule was here, now it's here, it was here, now it's here. And then once again, these amino acids are right next to each other. They are going to form a bond. All right? Now, eventually, the tRNA molecules, once these bonds are formed, they're just going to go off and leave. And the ribosome and the mRNA, that's eventually all going to leave. But what you're going to be left is with these amino acids bonded together. All right? And you finally have a protein. All right? And that's, that's an overview of protein synthesis. Hopefully this is a helpful uh, holistic visual sheet for you guys to go back and reference. Thanks for watching.